our broadcast colleague, the franchise Shane Douglas, who has been monitoring the every move of the challenger Kevin Nash in recent weeks. He tells us he's never seen him more intense, he's never seen him more serious about a match than this one, Don. Well, you could just tell by the attitude as he walks down the ramp. And I'm gonna tell you something, this crowd stood to their feet. They are 98% Kevin Nash's corner. From the cardio workout to the in-ring training, this is a dedicated Kevin Nash. He's intent on adding the NWA title to a resume that already includes the WWE and the WCW championship belt. That opportunity is now, but standing in his way is the champ. I'll tell you something, when you look at those, at the tail of the tape, you say to yourself, how oh, can Jeff Jarrett go against those odds? Outweighed by what, 50, 60 pounds? Kevin Nash, seven foot tall, but I'll tell you how. This guy's resilient. You don't hold the title as long as he held it without knowing how to win. Whether you support him or whether you despise him, in Jeff Jarrett, you're looking at a true world champion. He's not a company champion, but the definition of NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Title defenses in the United States, Mexico, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, Puerto Rico, most recently Korea. He became the king of the mountain on June the 2nd, 2004. He won the NWA title for a third time. This current drain on, now in excess of eight months, is a TNA record, the longest of any champion in TNA history. And that's quite an accomplishment when you have the top stars in our profession always gunning at you. Look at always the look trying right to there. knock you from the top. Look at the look right there, Mike. I didn't mean to cut in. Okay. I just, it just hit me scary. He's just got that look of determination, that fire that we haven't seen in Kevin Nash since he arrived here at NWA TNA. Let's send it to JB for the introduction of our main event for the world's title. Take it, JB. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. As Total Nonstop Action Wrestling presents your Against All Odds main event of the evening. Scheduled for one fall and is for the NWA Heavyweight Championship of the World. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA senior official, Mr. Rudy Charles. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Impact Zone in Orlando, Florida, introducing your participants in the main event. First of all, standing to the corner to my left, weighing in at 295 pounds, he is the number one contender for the NWA Heavyweight Championship of the World from Detroit, Michigan. This is Big Sexy Kevin Nash. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the corner to my right. He weighed in this morning at 238 pounds. He is the current reigning and defending NWA Heavyweight Champion of the World from Nashville, Tennessee. He is the King of the Mountain, Jeff. When it comes to match strategy for this NWA World's Heavyweight Championship showdown, I think you can really expect the obvious. Kevin Nash, he's gonna look to use that size, that power edge that he has. But as Jarrett says, seven footer or not, they're all the same size when they're on their backs. And of course, Jarrett is going to look to work on Nash's weakness, Don, and that's his knees. Oh, absolutely. How many surgeries has he had on those knees through the years, Mike? 14 total. 14 surgeries, and that when you think about that, Jeff Jarrett 
knows something. He knows that he is so much more agile. He knows that he can use the entire ring. Nash is gonna have to get that ring smaller and smaller. He's got to get Jarrett in his grasp, in his clutch, or Jarrett's gonna wear him out. And again, you would think that the longer that this match goes, maybe once we get past the 10 or 12 minute mark, the advantage would go to Jarrett. I'll tell you one thing though, when you look at Kevin Nash and you look at his size and you look at the, the gleam in his eye, it might take just one giant choke slam or just one, if he can get a hold of him and use everything that God gave him and that's that size and power, he can end this thing in one shot. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Opportunity to exploit that size, that power, that weight advantage. And when it comes to Kevin Nash, He's gonna look to brawl. He's not gonna look to try and out-wrestle, scientifically, yeah. Jeff Jarrett. Back elbow miss, takes Jarrett up and over. Now Jarrett gonna try and shoot him off into the rope. Smart move by Nash, oh, that top steel cable. Absolutely, right there. And oh, nice elbow right there by Nash. He just kinda go to Jarrett in it. That's the thing, Jarrett's gonna is using his speed. Jarrett's just trying to kinda make him dizzy right there. But what Nash has done is he's placed himself there in the center of the ring so that he's not having to work as hard. And Whoa! that's what I'm talking about using that size and strength right there. Took the champion out of the corner and just tossed him three quarters of the way across the six-sided ring and then follows up with that familiar knee shot right into the midsection, sets him up in the corner and again drives the knee and the leg into the stomach and into the ribs of Jerry. You know what amazes me about Nash is, I know he's seven foot tall, T95, but he looks bigger. He's just so intimidating. I mean, he looks like he weighs 350 of pure muscle. I mean, look at that. You can tell he's been working out. You can tell the shape that he's in, and now he's just taking it to Jarrett, knocking the air out of him. Follows up the knees with repeated elbows, and then big right hands to the side of the head of the champion. Oh, look at right there, the extension that he can get on that foot. Oh, man. Another familiar move from the challenger. You're right, using those long oh. legs, and how long did this take? Well, it's maybe two, three minutes into the match. Right into the knee, and that's exactly what he was going to do. He's got to chop that tree down. He's got to bring him to his size. And again, Kevin Nash took his eye off the prize for one second. The referee got in there, told him to remove his foot. Jarrett, right away, took advantage of it. Ooh, he has nice the shot. leg of Nash wrapped around the ring ropes, and that enables Jarrett to just reel off right hand after right hand to the head. Well, we've seen Nash blow those knees right out in this ring. It, it, you just have no idea. Jeff Jarrett's gonna do everything that he can to end this. And whoa! Nash's not ready to give in yet. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be interesting to see how much punishment his knees can take. Charlie oh, Jarrett. that's how you do it right there. Connects with the clothesline. That sends Jarrett down to the floor at the impact zone, and the big man's gonna follow up. Nash drops down to the floor. Oh, what a shot right there. Rocked him with a big right hand. Action spills outside the ring. Oh, no, he's, he's got, got him right up there. Look out, right by right the right right Oh, God. right onto the he table. He dropped him down on right the, on the belt. belt, too. Right onto the belt right there as Nash showing his strength. Just picked him up like a rag doll and threw him right down on the table. We said that he would exploit that size, that power advantage, and that's exactly what he's done. It follows up with an elbow to the top of the head. I'll tell you what, a vicious elbow when you're coming down from that kind of an angle. When, you're, when you've got so much height advantage, it's just that much more torque, that much more force. Jarrett takes advantage of Nash slowly making his way back in through the ring ropes, cut him off guard, right hand and then follows up with several more. Right hand shot right there by Jarrett, and Nash goes down. Oh, nice shot again by Jarrett. Jarrett's been working, we've been talking about how dedicated Nash is. You know and I know wow. that nobody takes this more seriously than Jeff Jarrett. And look at this, and he's not even working on the knees. He's showing everybody he can bring him down right there with the head shot. What we're really seeing here, Jarrett, using strategy that we expected from Nash. We talked about Nash being the brawler, not the scientific wrestler. And we see Jarrett take control of this match, and momentum now is really on his Ooh, side. Nice uppercut. And how did he take momentum? What did you say, about eight or 10 shots to the head? Oh, absolutely, and I'm gonna tell you something. I just, you just get that feeling that Nash, those legs after the 14 surgeries aren't as sturdy as they were, you know, 10 years ago. It's harder to stay on your Horse. feet. But I'll tell you what, you look at that upper body strength, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. He can do things like that, which is the great equalizer. 
Nash sends Jarrett airborne. Tossed it over the top and down to the floor. And now he's gonna follow up and Jarrett's begging off. Oh yeah, you can see Wait a minute, where's right he now. going now? He's oh, going he's, out into the crowd? Oh, he's, he realizes right now that Nash is on the prowl right here and Jarrett trying to get away and this thing has already gone crazy. It's in the crowd. Ooh, what a shot right there by Nash. Rocked him with the right hand, did the challenger. We'll do our best to follow the action here. As Jared, you can see. Wow. Oh my God, this is just going backstage. Backstage at the impact zone. Referee following as well. Nash is just relentless with this offensive assault. Well, that's what he's got to do. He's just going to have to just take it to him. Look at this, they're outside. Oh, oh right into the food table. Oh, that's great. He just tossed him on that for supper. Tossed him right into the catering table. Food flies everywhere. <laughs> Referee Rudy Charles. What's he doing now? Trying to control oh. these two, but he almost has to stand back at this point and just let them beat the hell out of each other. Well, what are you going to do? You're not going to get in the middle of this match. You can't. Kevin Nash absolutely on fire. Oh, what are you hit him with? Got a chair, I believe. Yes, he does. Steal chair shots. But look at that. Nash just knocks him right back and takes the chair right out of his hand. Oh, oh what man. a shot right there to Jarrett. And now oh. Nash takes the chair, and he's got it right across the windpipe of Jarrett. You know that he's had a desire to do this from the moment he came back. Yeah, he came back acting like he was friends of Jeff Jarrett, the outsiders and all that. The baloney. kings of wrestling. The kings of wrestling. He just was biding his time until he could do this, and now he's just beating the tar out of him. This is the brawl that we get expect. Off me. The brawler Kevin Nash has turned the match now in his favor. You talked about the look on his look face at that. prior to the match. Check that look out for determination. Holy cow, it looks to kill. I think he's having a funeral for Jeff Jarrett right now. This is part of the overflow crowd. You know, they turn people yeah. away. Standing room only here at the Impact Zone for Against All Odds. These are the people that couldn't get in. They're watching Jarrett Nash battle outside. Has, has Jarrett opened up? Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't quite see right there. I'm just trying to get a grasp on who all those people are. Oh, he breaks it back in. I mean, Jeff Jarrett is absolutely getting trounced. It looks like there's a flow of blood from the top of Jarrett's yes. head coming down his forehead as Nash just continues to abuse the champ. Well, he just absolutely beat the toe out of him, and there's another shot to the head, and another shot to the head. You're seeing the size and weight. Yes, he is bleeding. Oh, man, he's bleeding all the way down his body right there. Look at that. This, oh, man. This is a side of Kevin Nash that I have not seen in years, Don. I may, maybe never. I may never have seen him as focused as he is right now and so intent on What's taking he doing the right away from Jared. He's exposing the arena floor. He's pulling back the ring mats. And that's just nothing but concrete. What's he going to do to Jarrett? Look at this. It's just absolutely all Nash. And you're right. He's just so oh, nice shot right there by Jarrett. The nuts all he, it's all he could do. Yeah, he had to. I mean, what else do you do? You are defenseless. I mean, you've got to do something. That's one way to describe it. Low blow. All of a sudden, now has Nash on the defensive and allows Jarrett to go under the ring. What's he got in What's there? What's he got right there? What in the world? Wait a minute. There's no, if he uses the guitar. That's right. He, used he the guitar. loses the title. We've talked about it for weeks. Use the guitar. Lose the title. Well, you can see right there. You can see Armando Cantero telling him that there's our Spanish broadcast team. You can see Armando shaking his finger. Saying, what in the world's in there? Is it? A, what? Well, I'll say one thing if I'm right. Call it semantics. It's not a guitar, it's a cello! A ce it's a cello! What are you doing? You can't use that, you hear me? Referee, referee Rudy Charles says you can't use that. Well, now we know that when the lawyer was involved, trying to get all the legal jargon out there, think about it. He didn't use a guitar, he took that cello and he slammed it right against his knee. And now he's got, oh! oh this is what we mentioned earlier as well, that he would look to work on the the weakness that Nash has, the years of college basketball, the years of pro basketball, combined with the physical oh. demands of wrestling. 
and the 14 knee surgeries that Nash has suffered, and now Jarrett's gonna use the, the cello case? Oh, I'll tell you what, if they allow this to stand, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how they cannot allow it. It's not a guitar. It's not a guitar. I mean, it's a matter of semantics, and there's no question that, that now Jarrett's just Think using the about guitar it. case as a weapon. This is a total slap in the director of authority's face. He let, he made sure that Dusty said his own words, and he's eating his words. He got the word guitar out how many times? That's what I'm talking about, resiliency. Oh, oh did you God. see that? Just closed the case on the leg. That dropped down from the middle rope. All of his weight, the 238 pounds. As, and, you, as you hear that case land with a thud on the floor. And Kevin Nash, who was in total control. And now look at this, he's got the leverage. No way! He's got oh, a, that's just wrong! He's got the leg staked out, and then cannonballs down directly oh, across look at, the you knee. Can see this. Look at the pain in Nash's face! Jarrett fighting through the loss of blood. Oh, he's a bloody mess but, right there. But, but in reality, God, he's just turned this match oh. totally in his favor at 180. Oh. Cannonballs down again with and all of his And he did it by using his brain. He did it by setting himself up in a situation where how, what do you, how do you counter it? He didn't use a guitar. Oh, look at this. Now he's going to just pull on those legs, going for the figure four. Perfect move. If you think about it. Yes, it the is. The figure four leg lock is the perfect move, especially at this point, once he's already weakened the knees of Nash. Oh, look, at you can see Nash right there. I mean, this is now just a pure desire to win the one belt he's never won. That's the only way he's holding on right now. And Jared has got him in control. You think Nash has the power left? Look at that. To turn this thing around? Can he turn this figure four over? Oh. Or can he make it to the ropes for a rope break? Oh, Jared, two. No, oh, he got his shoulder up just in time. And Nash now reaching into something that he probably didn't even know he had. Nash Look at that. digging down deep, trying to fight through the pain, trying to reach out at the same time to get the rope break. He's inches away. Jarrett fighting there too, and Nash going for the rope. Nash is, is he going to tap out? And just when he gets close to the ropes, Jarrett applies more torque and more pressure to the figure four. Look at his facial, as he knows what he's got to do. He knows what he's got to do. He's so close. He's so close. He's, and he's, he's got, got it. it. He got that rope and break. And Jarrett's not letting go, but he got it. Referee Rudy Charles, he's going to make him break the figure four, but Jarrett drags him back out, uh -oh. drops the How elbow. Much? Oh, and oh, dropped it again. How much damage has been done and how much more damage is he doing? He's got the leg of Nash now staked out and scissored at the same time. Nash, oh, look at that. Jared just fighting through the blood loss and the pain that he was in earlier, and it's just completely turned. And Nash, I just don't know how long he can hold on. It's a good move for the champion here. Doubly effective. He not only continues to weaken the knees of Nash, but it allows Jarrett to mentally reach. Oh, look at this! But Nash fighting through. Look at this! Oh, it's just become. Look at that! He overpowered him. One, another one, another one, another one. Leg Nash. shot after leg shot by Nash. One. He's going to count. I guess his shoulders are down. I guess really Nash didn't have his weight position for a pin attempt. I'll tell you what, though, it was the way to get the momentum turned. He could barely walk, though. He could barely stand. Jarrett springs off the rope, stuck in the back elbow. Oh, but he gets the boot up somehow! Size 16 to the face, and the champ is down. This is his chance right here. He fought everything that Jarrett had to give him. Yes! Fights through, hits the side. One, two, two no, oh. come on! I'm surprised that he was able to power Jarrett up to get a vertical base with those injured knees and side slam him down, but that's exactly what Nash did, but he couldn't put him away. I'll tell you what, it's just unbelievable, Nash, that he's been able to stay in there now. He's gonna do everything he can to end this this quickly. Dropped him down on he the turnbuckle. got him again! Snake Eyes style. Gonna take him again over to the opposite side of this ring and does as well, Snake Eyes again. Right into the turnbuckle right there is Jarrett. Look at that, he's just making it hit there. Wild shot by Jarrett, not even close. Now Nash has got total control. Oh, Jarrett oh. fights it off. So oh, low, low shots. Clipped him. He completely clipped him and took that knee out. Now where's he headed? Jarrett going back outside. 
going back for the musical instrument, going back for the cello again. What's left of the cello after the handle broke off? Oh, nice turnabout fair play. Desperation move by Nash. But you gotta pull out all the stops. You have off. to, my friend. And besides, it's not like it wasn't something that Jared did to him. Big Nash can use it as a weapon. Here it is. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. What in the way? Why? Why are you stopping this? Jared bigs off, and referee Charles insists that Nash put it down. Oh, I don't like that call at all. What? He's going to take him up for the jackknife. Oh, wait a minute. The referee just got knocked down. Referee down. Here He's he got goes. Him. Can he? Can he drop him? Oh, he just smashes him into the toe. Jackknife power bomb by Nash. Pin. Wait a minute. Oh, the no, referee again. He just got caught by the leg of Jared. He's knocked out. We should have a new champion. Unbelievable. The luck of Jared right here. Wait a minute. Who's this? Who, who just ran in the ring? Wait a minute. Is that? Are you kidding me? That is him! Formerly known as Billy Gunn from the WWE? He just came in. Where did he, he laid, come from? He just came in and laid out Nash. Oh, that's just not right. Where did he come from? And why the hell is he here? And why is he on Jeff Jarrett's side? For God's sake. Referee's out. Nash is out. Jarrett tells Charles, I'm going for the pin, I'm going for the cover. No. Two. No. No, he fought out of it. He fought out of it. And the man formerly known as Billy Good can't believe it. Interference does not allow Jarrett to get the pin on Nash. Now he's headed back towards the ring. Oh, here. Referee Mike Posey out to cut him off. Well, I, you got the stage and the titles on the line right here. Good call. The crowd, wait a minute! What? Yes! Sean Waldman? Six Pac is in the ring! Sean Waldman on Jared! What is going on out here? Oh, look at this! Right up, baby! Bronco Buster in the corner! It's a night of shockers! It's a night of surprises! Well, who better to come out for Nash's aid than Sean Waldman? Six Pac hits the X Factor on Jared, but Nash is yes. going to him. Here it goes! You know, we just saw, if you think about it, we just saw two of the members of that group formerly known as DX. This has been a crazy night. You're not kidding. It gets crazy by the minute. One, two, it, oh, come on. He did. No way. Shoulder up. Shoulder no up. way. He was pinned. Uh-oh. He took, the, he took the title belt. He's got the championship belt in the ring. Nash to a knee. Wait a minute, did you see what I see? Sure enough, BG James. BG James? His former partner. You're right. Think about this. Yet another member of that group formerly known as DX. Nash calls lights. And I'll take this is down. unbelievable. Oh, wait a minute. He, Jared he grabbed the belt and used it himself. He knocked him out. He no. knocked him out the title belt. No. No. You're right. No is right. It's only two. Yes. Jared can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nobody in this building can believe it. Standing as one of the impact zone, realizing the importance of this matchup and what's at stake. It's the NWA World's Heavyweight title. Is he going to go for the stroke? He drove it down. Here's the pin with the stroke. Here's one. One. Here's two. two. No, he got out of it again. Nobody can believe this. Jared, he just got to be freaking out. He just hit him with the stroke, but he couldn't beat him. And that's after hitting him with the title belt. Wait a minute, you don't see this often. No, he's going to the top row. Nash back up to his feet. Oh, he's got, got him caught. He's got him throttled. Can he choke slam him? Here Can he drive goes. him down? He's got him goozled. Could it be a title change? Oh, oh, Jerry pushed the referee low away. Low blow, low oh, blow, man. Stroke. Referee didn't see the low blow, he was One, down. One, two, no.
think of what Jared said in the weeks leading up to this match. He said, I'm gonna win this by any means necessary. And that's exactly what we've seen unfold. Jeff Jarrett remains NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Well, it took help from that man. It took low blows. Doesn't look like a champion, does he? No. But you know what? He still gets to wear that gold home tonight. For somehow, some way, he's found a way to stay the champion. Amid sad God, some of the most shocking, surprising things we've ever seen in TNA. All leading to Jeff Jarrett retaining the NWA World's Heavyweight title.